And yet still, still we are limited by our ignorance as to what is truly above us. Now, with the progress that we have made in balloon ascent here at the Society, pioneered by Charles Green, we could advance meteorology by decades. Understanding of oxygenation of the atmosphere, oh. atmospheric... He wants my balloon! No, sir, I ask for funding for my own expedition into the skies. Correlations... Sir, we are scientists, not fortune tellers. You were talking about weather prediction. But is that not our responsibility as scientists to find order in chaos, gentlemen? Please, if we, we can no closer to predicting the movements of a weather than the movements of a frog in a jar. If we can not draw a financial we are on the precipice of extraordinary change. The possibility of advanced weather prediction could it can save lives, gentlemen. Gentlemen, please! Please! James Glacier spoke again this week at the Royal Society of his plans to make a science of the weather. I in the Times. You read it? Yes, I've read it. Oh. To the accompaniment of much laughter. Oh, Arthur, please don't. They're wrong, by the way. Well, many more thought you were. Well, many didn't believe in Newton. Newton? Oh, James. Newton changed the way we see the Earth and the planets and the stars. You think you can predict when it might rain. These things that people are saying about you, James, don't, don't, don't they hurt? I wish it didn't hurt you. Have you even been in a balloon? I've studied them extensively. Do you have any experience of frostbite, low air pressure? The mind-altering effects of a lack of oxygen to the brain. How else does one learn but by partaking? Exactly what I need in a second. A theorist. With no ideas about the true dangers of the air. Find another madman to get in a balloon with. Uh, perhaps the French. Or, better yet, that woman. Good day. Altitude is 5,400 feet. The air temperature is 64 degrees Fahrenheit. 22,200. 22,400. History will be rewritten. 22,900. 23,000. Now higher than any man or any woman has ever been. This is the moment that I've been waiting for my entire life. I rather suspect I've been waiting for it too. Discovery which led to the first scientific weather forecasts. The fact that I'm able to be here at all to present this to you is due to some luck, some help, and Amelia Wren's remarkable courage. So, we tell our story not for the purposes of pleasure, but for the advancement of knowledge and for the good of us all. We took to the skies in the name of discovery, to find something new, to change the world. But you don't change the world simply by looking at it. You change it through the way you choose to live in it. Look up. The sky 
lies open.